Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in learning a simple five-step process to attract awesome, conscious, committed-minded men into your life, stick around, because that's what you and I will be discovering on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you a simple five step process to immediately start attracting awesome men into your life. If you're someone like so many millions of women out there who seem to be attracting guys who are jokers, clowns, buffoons at best, who are not really giving you what you need, but you can't seem to see where the other guys are, well, this video is for you. <laughs> step number one, and this is probably the most important step in the whole thing. You need to cut ties with any and all guys that you're energetically wasting time with who are on the fence about you. If you're connecting with guys who are not really friends, they're more than friends, but they're not really boyfriend quality guys, but they give you that inner sense of instant junky feeling of I'm alone, but when this guy connects with me, I feel beautiful. He's not gonna do what it takes. He's not gonna invite you to do anything. He's not gonna introduce me to his family. But if it's Friday night and there's nothing going on and I start feeling sad and I get this text message that says, hey, beautiful, how are you, sexy? And you start feeling an inner rush of at least connection with someone, I want you to cut time to that dude. If he's a guy that you've been connecting with for some time, he hasn't done what it takes, and you know it's not gonna go anywhere, or maybe he's connecting with you, but you just know he's not the kind of guy that you want as a boyfriend, I'm going to ask you to right now cut ties with him because the energetic fucking around in your mind with this guy makes it so that you don't have enough hunger to get the level of action in place that you need to step into to make this really happen. So please stop ties with all guys who are on the fence about you. Number two, I need you to step into practicing confidence daily. Confidence is a muscle that grows. The more you practice it, the more you feel it. So many women have stopped practicing confidence and they wonder why they never feel it. So practicing confidence in a very practical sense means step into the physiology of being confident. Breathe the way a confident woman wa breathes, walk, the way a confident woman walks, smile the way a confident woman smiles. Remember that you don't have to change anything about yourself to be worthy. I think it's awesome and lofty that you want to create goals for yourself and you want to improve as a human being. There's, that's beautiful, but to think that you have to change to be worthy, that's a completely different story. So disassociate from the fact that the fact that you want to be a better human being doesn't mean that you're not worthy right now. Step into practicing confidence daily, dress the way you want to dress, move the way you want to move, smile the way you want to smile, and do it consistently. Number three, raise your standards. Now, if you've been connecting with dudes who are energetically wasting your time and you just decided to cut ties with them, raising your standard means write, get out a piece of paper and write down the things that you absolutely fucking lutely will never settle for again in your life. The moment you raise your standards, you create the ability to get what you really want. There are men out there who are kind of messing with you that if you were to show up differently would either stop connecting with you or grow internally and step up to be better men. But the fact that you have allowed them to be wishy-washy with you <laughs> enables them to still be boys and practice uh, their boyhood with you instead of their manlyhood with you. Okay, so raise your standards, write on a piece of paper everything that you want to experience and what you're no longer, no longer willing to settle for in your connections with guys. Be as specific as you need to be so that this is not something fluffy, but specifically write down in terms of dating men, in terms of going out with guys, in terms of connecting physically or sexually with someone. What are your standards? Number four, be the real you. I'm going to give you for time purposes, just three different versions of you. There's multiple versions of you. We all have multiple personalities in some way. But in this case, let's say that there's three versions of you. There is the hurt, wounded version of you who believes that you deserve nothing, okay? This is the, person, the, the you that is unworthy. There is the version of you who is numb, who doesn't want to experience pain, but is also not experiencing aliveness, passion, excitement. That's the mediocre version of you. And there's a version of you that's alive, who's happy, who's radiant, who's passionate, who's expressive, 
who says what she wants, who inspires men to want to connect with you. That is the real you. Okay, now is it easy to be the real you? No. But is it worthy to, for you to discover what it takes for you to be in that stance when you create connections with guys? Absolutely. Because here's the thing. Step number five is to double or triple the number of connections of, with men that you have. Because if you're someone who is not connecting with enough men, you're never going to get what you want. If you're somebody who's connecting with enough men from the real you, not version one, which is not you, or version two, which is the boring, mediocre version of you, then this is even worse than not connecting with men. Here's why. Because if you're creating lots of connections from a boring space, from a space of unworthiness, from a space of, I don't really deserve this, from a space of not really setting high standards, then instead of getting better results, you get worse results. And you start, your brain starts consolidating the idea that men suck. Right? It's not that men suck, it's that the way you're enabling men to connect with you sucks. So if you, as I said in the previous step, number four, step into being the real you, the alive version, passionate version of you, and from that stance, create more connections with men, you will start discovering that through raising your standards and through seeing what else is out there, you will start connecting with amazing men. Will all men be amazing? No. But the law of numbers, will make it so that you know that there's an abundance of men. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If you feel that way about this <laughs> video, then I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, or somewhere on your screen, right here, you'll see something show up that allows you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting, where you will learn a blueprint that will show you how to create a connection with your soulmate, how to find that soulmate in nine days or less. Very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Have any questions for me, drop me a line and any of my comments, including the one on this video, and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you.